I laid out my Bitcoin trading plan to you very clearly two days ago here on YouTube. I said, if you want to take a long trade on Bitcoin, you have to wait for the drop. I then went on to explain to you the best buy the dip target that we have. And that was thirty four and a half thousand dollars. That was my personal target that I was going to be using to buy the dip. That was the target that I wanted to go in hard. I wanted to add several million to my longs because that for me is the highest probability level that I had on the whole of the chart here locally. And as we can see now, two days later, price came down and hit my target to pinpoint precision for already a 5% bounce to the upside. This is giving us massive profits. Everybody that played close attention, as I begged you to, I knew I could help you. I knew I could give you profits if you just listened closely. Everyone that did, we are once again sat in profits, crushing this market. And in this video, I will be saying what we are looking for next. What is next to come in this chart? We have now bought the dip at that $34,500. But we are now coming up into new levels on the chart, which I need to explain to you. And I need you to fully understand during the course of this video. So let's just get straight into it. There is profits on the table right now. So let's not waste any time. As always with my videos, I'm going to go over that past 48 hours of price action so you can fully, fully understand. You understand the context and then that leads us on to what and why we have the next price targets we have on Bitcoin. So let me play for you that 10 second clip from that last video where I was talking about the buy the dip target that I had on this chart. If we get a pullback, I will look for that long. Absolutely, I will. The biggest support actually sitting down there around $34,500. So you might want to remember that $34,500 is the biggest support. We do have a few levels prior to that, of course, with the naked point of controls. But yeah, thirty four and a half for me is the biggest support on the chart locally. Um, and yeah, and I'm happy to long the dip up to my target. If I hit my... So there you go. I was making it very clear. $34,500 was my buy the dip target. I hope you paid close attention because as we know now, two days later, we dropped perfectly to that target. I even posted over for you on uh, Twitter. This was before the drop. This is why we were still trading at uh, $37,000 back on the 14th. I'm happy and I want to see a drop on Bitcoin. While others will be fearful and panic selling at 34 and a half, I will follow my plan and buy the dip. Of course, I've had this plan for a few weeks now, right? Uh, this was the plan that obviously I laid out, first of all, to my group, of course, uh, back around the start of the month. And that was the rise, take out the naked point of control, drop, rise once more to above 37,000 before another drop to the downside. Of course, we got that first rise to the NPOC. We got the drop to the range point of control. And then like telling my team after that, I remained long bullish, looking for new highs to be made and targeting just above $37,000. Well, each step of the way, of course, this plan went, you know, pretty well indeed. We got the rise, drop, rise. And as we started to hover around $37,000, for me, the only long opportunity was another drop to the downside. So for me, it's a, it's a simple case of remaining patient. You know, if I can see a drop to the downside, I'm absolutely going to be longing the dip uh, to continue trading that plan. And for me, after this drop to the downside, it was clear as day, uh, you know, follow the plan that I made. I wanted to see a drop. We got the drop. I will follow my plan. I will buy the dip. And of course, that dip target, $34,500. We can see how lovely this chart has gone. After that, rise, drop, rise, drop, rise. Each step of the way with the rise, drop, rise, drop, coming back into the rise. And you might be wondering, uh, what exactly was there at $34,500? Okay, well, there was a few factors that we had going on. Of course, we had prior lows back from the 7th of November. Not the biggest reason, but that is a, a, a sub reason. You also had coming in here around the CC Fibonacci level. On top of that, you had a weekly naked point of control just below 34 and a half. And the biggest reason, once again, just like we actually bounced, you know, when I was giving this to my team, as we were uh, actually getting that bounce off of the range point of control. Well, once again, we were bouncing off of that range point of control. So I was looking for that pullback target. If I just show you a post from my group uh, from uh, a member's live stream, we were looking for that pullback to around $34,500. Okay. And that was 
once again, <laughs> at that range point of control. So, you know, it's just a, a massive level on the chart. So, um, yeah, that, that's basically why I was telling you all yesterday, $34,500. Do not forget 34500 Okay. And we remain patient. We remain calm. We got the drop. I've locked in a long. Okay. I've added to my long positions. And now here we are trading back up at above $36,000. So to be precise from the low to the current high, that's around four, uh, sorry, five and a half percent uh, bounce to the upside. So you might be wondering, okay, now what's the current resistance that we're at? And what I like to do is I like to take a fixed range from our current downtrend. Okay. And we can see we're coming into around this value area low. And what I like to do is like pull this as the range that we're trading. And there's a few different th pulls that I like to do. I like to pull this from our current downtrend to current price action. I then like to also pull a anchored VWAP, which I am going to find on my favorites from the high to the low. And we've got that coming in above us. And then of course, we're going to have this CC Fibonacci, which is going to be coming in too. So we get building up this resistance currently around 36 and a half. For me, though, one level you're definitely going to have to remember, okay, is that range point of control. So this is our previous range point of control. That's coming in around 37 point, uh, 37 and 37,150, you know, beat not to be absolutely precise, but that little bit of a zone there of resistance. That's something to be aware of. Why? Because just as that is our previous range point of control resistance, that is what gave us the bounce for the support at $34,500, right? So, Never anything random on this chart. Every pivot you see is from a technical level. And uh, so, yeah, for me, that's a level to be aware of. But of course, now that say you, you know, you missed the long trade, what, what's next for you? I, I would say you're, you're a bit too late to this long right now. Unfortunately, you've already bounced five and a half percent to the upside, right? You, you can't be FOMOing in now. You're, <laughs> you're a little bit late. You've been sleeping. Um, you, you unfortunately are going to have to be very patient on that now. Uh, my thoughts would be, okay, if you, if you miss that long, I would wait for another full retracement here. Okay. And of course, just below us, you do still have uh, the weekly naked point of control below this wick. So you could look for the fill of the wick, take out the low, which gives you like a swing failure pattern type trade right below the wick. Uh, moving on to of course, just below that, uh, the daily NPOC le levels. So that comes in at, you know, 33.9, 33.7 zone, which is a daily NPOC, what you have right down here, which is the bigger value area low. Of course, we've bounced off the range point of control. That value area low comes in here. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say if you're in a position or even if you took the long, right? So if you manage to add into your long positions, great. What you can actually do is look in to lock in your take profit one here. And then always in trading, you know, um, preferred scenario is, is going to be up, right? Because we do remain, you know, bullish and definitely high probabilities of higher. But if we do put in this lower high and we do actually end up coming down here, well, this then gives us another opportunity uh, for that weekly naked point of control to the value area low of the range around that naked point of control in the daily, right? So whether you miss the long or whether you took the long, you're never going to go broke taking profits. You can take profits. And if we rise to our target above the high, congratulations, we make even more profit on the long. If we do put in a lower, if we do put in a lower high, then you can get stopped out that long and look for another one lower down in the chart, which for me would be that weekly naked point of control to the value area low around, you know, 33.6K. Okay, that is the, the you know, the more global value area low of this current range. So um, for me, yeah, that does, of course, require some patience, um, you know, on, on your behalf too. So I, I want to go over a few more things, which I just feel can be beneficial, very beneficial for you when it comes to trading on, on the charts, uh, which I can give you some insights for. Before I do that, just worry one quick announcement. Of course, there's a lot of excitement when it comes to trading. There's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of emotions that fly through the chart. But, you know, one thing that we are very proud of is that we do keep it uh, we, I, I can't say we get rid of emotions, but we keep them on control, right? We are very much trading the chart level to level traders. We make plans, we share our biases, we share our trades, and then we, you know, we like to walk away profits together. And so if you want to get to the level of, you know, where I and the other coaches are, where we're making plans, we're seeing those plans come out pretty much exactly as predicted. You can learn everything that we that we go through every day here at chartchampions.com. You've got an educational library, which is just full of hours and hours of content. 
Okay, this is being reworked from the ground up this year. You know, you've got everything that you've requested has been done. On top of that, you've, of course, got live trading. You've got daily live streams. You've got inbuilt trading journals. You've got the uh, best exchange deals that you can get right now for being X and Bybit. Uh, you've got the speed run courses. Basically, you've got the one-stop shop for everything that you need to make bank right now when it comes to trading. We also cover now the stock market, okay, futures, of course, altcoins, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, all of everything that you need, uh, chartchampions.com. Of course, we're very, very proud of what we offer and uh, really feel it is the best service in the world uh, for cryptocurrency uh, learning or trading in general learning, right? <laughs> it works on all markets. So that's all I wanted to do. I'm happy to uh, talk about that because I, I, I know it can change your life if you put in the hard work like, like uh, some of the most successful champions. So that's enough of that. Let's move back onto the chart. So what I want to teach you about now for just five minutes, I'd like to take your time if you don't mind. Uh, and that is um, how do we remain patient? You know, like like I said on Twitter, you know, everybody else is going to be fearful and panic, panic selling when we get our drop. All right. And so when we get that drop, how do you you know, quote unquote, remove the emotions? How do you conquer those emotions and trade the charts? If we get a pullback, I will look for that long. Absolutely, I will. The biggest support actually sitting down there around $34,500. So you might want to remember that $34,500 is the so you can see there, you know, I have my plan set in stone. You know, it's it's not a case of, oh, I don't know what to do. Is it going to rise? Is it going to drop? Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be under that mindset when it comes to trading. They're really like, they lack confidence. Okay, I remind you, I've been doing this now coming on 14 years. And that's not 14 years coming here, going there. No, it's it's turning up every single day every single day for 14 years. How many people do you know inside of trading that, that have been here that long? You know, unfortunately, the majority of influencers uh, that like to call themselves professionals nowadays, they've been here a few years, you know, a few years. And that is, um, that is just, you know, <laughs> it's not a, really a lot of time. So what you have to remember is a lot of my you know, confidence comes from the fact I've been coming here every day, I've put in the hard work and that blood, sweat and tears effort, you know, and I'm not here to, you know, say that this is unrealistic or, you know, look at me, I'm sorry, good sort of thing. I'm just saying that, you know, that is how I have such confidence in my trades. You know, I've been doing it a long time and then I have very good plans, you know. So let me talk you through a very, actually, I might, might share with you, uh, I might share with you a post that I made in my group. Why not? You know, what makes a good trade? I wasn't planning to show this to the public, but I might just very briefly go through this. So basically, you can see here, I wrote saying got to my group, but EG, I'm going to summarize it because it's going to be a bit too long otherwise. But I summarize this by just saying, you know, I stick to my plans. I analyze the data. I don't have any biases of I need this to drop. I need this to rise. No, I just look at the charts and I come up with an idea based off of what I feel is the highest probability. And you can see here weeks in advance calling the exact moves on the market. And these are exact highs and lows, the exact high, the exact low, the exact high. OK, that is not randomness. You can uh, you can I hope you can understand that that is not random pivots. They are all pivots that have actually played out very nice indeed. OK, and so when we come down then to, you know, there's always that case. Why would you not long 34 and a half? Well, you might be thinking, oh, we might go lower. And that is true. We might go lower. But if you've got a very nice reaction, OK, there's no need to think, oh, it might go lower. I uh, personally, I would think, OK, we've got we've got a reaction. We've got a trade. Let's take it. Let's enter the trade. OK, the worst that can happen is we get stopped out. The best that can happen is we can hit take profit one, then get stopped out or, or ha, ha, move up to the higher target. You know, I, I feel like I might be rambling on a little bit too long here. Le leave a comment down below if you'd like me to expand along upon this greatly. It's, it's just I, I think maybe I'd dedicate it to its own video. Please let me know down below if this is of interest to you. I'll lay, lay out like exactly how I go along my trading plans uh, for more of like a public style video. Of course, this is what I give every day inside of the champions group. But, you know, if you want a video like this on YouTube, then yeah, just let me know down below in a comment. So, um, yeah, right now, of course, the altcoins are on fire. If you long Bitcoin, if you long the altcoin dip, you're saying brilliant profits. I shared with you my plan. The plan obviously went <laughs> the, mo the, mo the most perfect it could do. 
And uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say. My hard works and results speak for themselves time after time after time after time. If you want to get in on that profit and you know where to be, chartchampions.com it is simply the place to be right now. That's what I'm going to say. Thank you ever so much. I hope this has made sense to you. Okay, so I bought the dip. Lovely profit of take profit one at this bigger range value area low. Next target above us is for that potential swing failure pattern failed auction of the high. If we don't get that, then we're moving on to forty to forty eight thousand dollars. OK, level to level. That would be our next one above us. And uh, yeah, below us, be looking back down for that weekly naked down to the daily. Uh, I got another live stream tomorrow morning for the champions. Uh, so if you want to get involved in that, then you know where to be. Daily update tomorrow morning, every single day. And uh, that will be my next one for Bitcoin. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Cheers. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.